I'm Dr. Dan, talking to you from Vitamin Pro, and we're continuing to talk about the stomach. The stomach, of course, doesn't really tell you much unless something goes wrong, and you get some kind of burning sensation. And I mentioned last video about uh, GERD, or gastric reflux, and how gluten can be a, a big factor with that. Now, but today we're going to talk a little bit about ulcers. Now, ulcers, of course, are quite serious, and, you know, can, you know, can cause, a bleeding ulcer can kill you. Now, one, uh, one important cause of ulcers is uh, excessive alcohol consumption. So if that's you, um, you have a choice. You can either take care of that, you know, do some kind of a program to, uh, to get that calmed down, or, you know, risk uh, bleeding, bleeding out and having a loved one find you that way. So that's, you know, I've seen that happen, so, you know, a couple of choices there. Now, Let's, um, let's say alcohol is not your problem, but you're still having ulcer type issues. Um, some years ago, a couple of decades ago, um, it was determined that Heliobacter pylori, or a small uh, bacteria, can, uh, can be a factor here. Now, the problem is, is that this, is, this uh, type of bacteria travels extremely easily from one person to another, or even from your cat to you, dog to you, and vice versa. So if you're going to treat, the, treat yourself with this, you know, once you've gone through the testing, and we won't talk about that specifically, but there are some tests where you, you, know, you can see the off-gassing from, uh, from this bacteria. So if you have a positive diagnosis for that, you, know, you can go through the antibiotic uh, biotic therapy, and have been, but you have to wait some time to get retested, otherwise it shows a positive still. But also you have to treat the whole family, so that's in dogs and cats, so that's a problem. Now one thing that you can try, which I think uh, most of you will find helpful, is to try some, uh, some probiotics, and I see, mean probiotics, I don't mean one or two caps a day. You might have to take uh, 10 to 15 dip capsules a day, and there are many different kinds of probiotics out there, and that's a whole other topic, which we'll get into later, but, you know, treating... Um, if, you, if you're putting in probiotics that your body is, is uh, friendly with, then they will compete with the H. pylori for, for resources, but they'll also actively uh, try to kill that H. pylori because, you know, it's a battleground in there, and those, uh, those good guys are going to go to work to, uh, to kill the bad guys. So you might uh, work with that. Um, Apex has a product called um, HPLR, which is designed to help your body fight the, the uh, infection as well. So a combo of the probiotics and HPLR should give your body some ammo to, to deal with this, maybe apart from the antibiotics. And plus, if you take antibiotics and then you kill all the friendly bacteria, then you know, you're kind of setting yourself up, getting, getting yourself in a more vulnerable state to, uh, to have another H. pylori infection because it's extremely easy to get reinfected. Now, if the probiotics help uh, fight that H, uh, that H. pylori infection, then you've solved two problems. One is that you, you've beaten that back, but you've also um, minimized the risk of reinfection. So, we're recommending some uh, specific products here, like uh, Immuzyme is a good one, Apex Energetic, Strengthia, uh, Neuroscience Recolonize 1 is a good one. Uh, we have a Metagenics uh, uh, Floral Plus that uh, we found effective. Uh, Biotics BioDoff has also been good. So anyway, a number of different ways of going about this. So maybe you don't have to live with that ulcer after all. So hopefully that was helpful. And uh, give us a call if you need some more, uh, more information on this. Thanks for, thanks for listening.